Y'all heard the hip hop was dead out here in Texas. I guess you ain't get the memo. Look, it's Kaya Beat Mom. We bringing that real shit back. Put your cups up and let's have a toast. Here's the good music. We probably have to force them just to distribute it. Mainstream polluted. Change, I refuse it. I know this shit bound to start a movement. This the new Houston. Here's the good music. We probably have to force them just to distribute it. Mainstream polluted. Change, I refuse it. I know this shit bound to start a movement. This the new Houston. I'm contemplating as the sweet burn. Everybody singing and dancing. I wish the streets turn. Awesome is on track. I set the spark and let the beat burn. Most niggas claiming that they hold and be the least burn. This the new Houston. Better make way. This the new Houston. Better make way. This the new Houston. Better make way. You can't do shit but witness what's finna take place. I've been waiting such a long time to do this And you've been waiting a long time to hear it This is my stage, everybody need to clear it For somebody to get tased with my lyrics I was made for this business This is just the game, arcade on you bitches It's like Street Fighter when I start spitting He kicking some too real for TV The rap game need me Some Biggie and Pac mixed together God help them Some P. Diddy bad boy This is the last straw and all these Auto tune, then I'ma have to be the one to kill his dance moves. Set up a trap, catch him while he jerking through bad trap, snap and leave his ankle in his fucking shoe. Uh, and Candy Red said it perfect. It's more niggas on the dance floor than girls twerking. Uh, jerking, sweating, moving hard, screaming, gone working. They don't even much have a job. Uh, what's wrong with y'all niggas? And colleges won't even give a loan to y'all niggas. And other chicks don't even get a loan with y'all. What's going on everybody? Bayou City Reviews here, broadcasting live at the University of Houston. As always, Rhino, Bizzle, yeah, yeah. Double. Today we're talking about Dante Higgins. Going back to Rhymes for Days, the first uh, of the Rhyme series. There's Rhymes for Days, Weeks, and Months. So this was the very first one. Uh, Bizzle, we're going to let you kick it off on Rhymes for Days, Dante Higgins. Yeah, um, I got 15 tracks. I believe there's no features, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't, at least I don't recall any features. I want to say it's all I him. I remember. I think you know, right? Um, off the top, man, he has an unbelievable flow, man. I, I, I fuck with it heavy. Uh, I really like, for some reason, it seemed like he always freestyling. I don't know if he freestyled some of it or what, but it always seemed like he's freestyling to me. Um, this is a traditional mixtape, like we were saying before. Uh, he went to a bunch of industry beats. Um, my favorite cut on there had to be the, the auto tune joint. Yes, man. Hey, that was when we eventually um, we're gonna come up probably with like the like top ten or top twenty of our you know, favorite songs of all the shit that we've covered. Just to start controversy, you make your motherfuckers mad about something. But uh, that's gonna be on my top twenty, like hands down. Yeah. I, that motherfucker from start to finish. Putting boys in that fucking place. Yeah, to clarify, it wasn't an auto tune song. He was the talking song about auto tune. Yeah, yeah, that's auto tune. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that, that motherfucker jam. That uh, the June twenty seventh was a straight fire too. Uh, overall, man, he, he's a good artist. Uh, I, I really like his his flow. I like I like everything about it. Uh, my least favorite song, ironically, is probably the most. Uh, dearest to his heart was the one for his sister. Uh, I didn't like that one all that much. Um, and actually, I just feel like he didn't, he just went harder on the other songs. Yeah. Really, it wasn't nothing bad about it, just Ooh, the other right. songs went harder. I agree. Um, uh, I like the fact that he's very, as corny as this fucking shit sounds, he really pushes the, uh, him graduating. And I really like that for some reason. Uh, him pushing the whole aspect of education. He ain't nobody too cool to fucking get their degrees and shit. So I thought that was pretty dope. And uh, he seems to be very proud of himself for fucking graduating. And um, but yeah, I, I, I fuck with it. I, I fuck with him heavy. <laughs> I and, think that, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just thought about something. Fucking uh, Goonie Split has a has a uh, fuck, fuck college. college. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I, I didn't. I just thought about it. That's why I'm so interested to hear it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, 
Hey, is that like a, a birthday hat? No, it's a, it's a dunce hat. It's a dunce hat. Dunce hat. You know how like, if you got in trouble you know, right back in the gap, you sat in the corner with the fucking dunce okay, hat. Oh, like, you kiss wow. you dumb in okay. school, you know what I mean? Right, right. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm interested to hear that because I mean, I, I agree with both sides of it. Yeah. Fuck this shit, but I'm gonna <laughs> well, no, play just, the politic and get the piece of paper. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel that too. I just I like the the fact that he's he doesn't hesitate to make oh, a yeah, statement. Oh no, no, like, this yeah, is what yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm gonna be the first rapper to get my yeah, masters. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit and, was and we'll get just, to his yeah, project, yeah, school board music, and all that. It just made me think of Goody though, like the two different polarizing. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, you don't you don't really ever hear that from cats trying to. Motivate motherfuckers to go to school. Mm-hmm. We always hear the fuck school. I'm gonna get high and all that dumb shit. But yeah, yeah. I, I I took notice to it and I appreciate it. Right. I'm out. But uh, yeah. Overall, I liked it. But coming from this project, you said you really liked his flow. Yeah. So it was an unbelievable I feel, flow. I, yeah, I feel like he's he's very versatile. I feel like he's uh, if not the best. He's in the top three storytellers that we've covered. Who's telling better stories? You fucking went crazy. Who's telling better stories? Well, than him? well, you you started on a different point, which made us look like that. Well, I'm saying unbelievable. I was I was starting. I was saying that by saying he's versatile. From to me, it sounds like he's freestyling to him telling stories. Okay. I feel like he can pretty much do it all. From what I took from this, what, what I took from this, the, his flow stayed the same. Throughout the whole mixtape, I didn't I, get any kind of versatility. His well, topics, for, the topics, and the, the yeah. I, I, but I, I do, is, I do get his flow, and I guess it's different. It's different, but it definitely seems like he's coming off the dome when he's rapping. <laughs> and I like it. I like the sound of. I don't love it. At, I, at I times, it, it got kind of hard to listen to track after track after track because there's nothing exciting about it. Mm-hmm. But. With that one-dimensional linear flow, he told a very good story. I like, man, I like that. It, it was just, I liked it, but it was at certain times I was kind of like, "Come on, like you know, it's like it's just, <laughs> he's just telling the story." I like can, I can just, understand that. You know, it, it, the way he was doing it was just like he give you a bar, he give you a bar, telling the story, but it's the same thing. I don't even think there was any kind of like changing his voice. Or anything, no changing in cadence well, or yeah. anything. So, so I, I thought it was dope from the the whole the basketball right. story joint. To that, the, was, that was I good. said it was dope as fuck. It was. That yeah. was definitely good. Yeah, it's true. Uh, hey, that's it, what it was I was gonna say. That, that, that's actually true. A true story. That's a true story, story for who? Like, who's the story about? I believe it was either his brother or so oh, man. It was so long ago when I like got like. The, Told that it was like the real deal and stuff, but that that's like a real life, yeah, uh, deal right there. I mean, it's pretty dope. I mean, it's, it wasn't a mixtape of any kind of concepts. Yeah, it, I think it was just a, like we said about Doe and the Reggie Bush. I think yeah, he just showing boys that he got rhymes for days. He does. I just took it for for what it was. And I thought I, I felt like it. I Ooh. felt like he was pretty clean. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know I get pretty picky about like when I feel like people miss something. You know, well, shit, they get picky when we miss shit too, so whatever. But uh there was a there was a health reference that he made. I bend my meniscus. Yeah. yeah. Somebody I was I was listening to with she was like, You can't bend your meniscus. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I didn't catch that. But like that's how people are listening to what you're saying, you know what yeah. I mean? So, you know, who cares, man? I mean, See, and that's, that's why I thought he was freestyling. But let me say that he, he the fact that. that he the fact that he missed that does not discredit his whole no, fucking, yeah, yeah. his whole mixtape is trash because he got that wrong. The fuck out of here. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. But other than that, I liked it, but it got kind of hard to listen to the same kind of thing over and over and over again. But I'm, it's just Higgins though. Well, it's just Higgins on this project. So it's okay. Replay value though. Uh, this I listen I listened to this maybe about. Eight times, and I didn't find it to be overly hard. I just feel like going into the next project is going to be the same. Mm-hmm. But I don't. Yeah. And I, I will say, if uh, rhymes for weeks is pretty much the same, then 
then it'll be more uh, right. critical. I feel like Ron for Weeks is probably going to be the same thing, but I don't know if that's the actual next one in line. Yeah. Because no, Kirko I think has... So. I thought it was days, weeks, months, or... Well, no, he no. has a series. It's a series. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kirko but, but has... he's got albums, mixtapes, yeah. and everything has in procrastination and progression, but they don't all come out yeah. in that yeah. order. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's, that's why. Just like you got the, you know, like... Person's fab. He's got the soul tape series, but he drops real albums and other mixtapes titled. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I said the yeah. next one in the series. Mm -hmm. If it's the same oh, exact thing, I feel like it's definitely the same thing. Yeah. But anyway, you yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm more with Bizzle. You know what I'm saying on this? It's just super enjoyable to listen to. But I agree with you on the. I, I didn't get any versatility from it, but flow wise. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, but like, which is cool. Like I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like I enjoy listening to what that motherfucker has to say. It's just <laughs> you, definitely you know what I'm saying. And 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 then I'll go back to with you on the storytelling deal because we'll we'll get to those later projects. But I really like the way he the way he tells them. Whether I mean like he could be a boring story. You know what I'm saying. I just think he has a way of. I don't know. I don't even know the proper nah, you can proper term of saying it. Yeah, he's you know, just it. He, simple he, as it may be. You know what I'm saying? He just puts that together real well. But what I do like is some of that more outlandish. You know what I'm saying? Like my my bitches play volleyball and all that type of stuff. That shit is entertaining to me. That's funny. And it was all like it, was it all industry beats? Like there uh, weren't any originals on there. Yeah. Pretty sure it's all industry. Let's go around, right? If so, I mean, it did, nothing stood out to me where it was like, oh, this is not an industry beat. Like, right. I, didn't, I wasn't paying yeah. attention to the production. So that's what that I'm saying. Much. So that's why I was, I was almost kind of glad because I just wanted to sit there and see what all your rounds for days were the whole project, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, and I didn't get anything too exaggerated. You know what I mean? I just got like he was just having fun, and, and he told a lot of jokes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, and, and this was, uh, you know, this is the first of the rhyme series. So every year it came out, it was big. The the dance songs he references a lot, the auto tunes and the dance songs, and uh, school goons. The school goons. <laughs> was, was man, <laughs> that, that, that's that's still the hardest part. He said some of the most outlandish shit, and I, I love it. But when he's talking about when did when do. When do dogs need financial, financial aid? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like, it's damn, it. man. That's what I'm saying. What do you, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I don't even want to say it yet. But I have a favorite project of his that, that we'll get to. Well, but yeah, well. man, like, I just enjoyed not, not worrying about production and hooks and whatever. And just, like I said, just getting them rhymes just all the way through. To me, to me that's enjoyable. Yeah. And for an artist like himself, who, who, who excels at that, made it, made it, like, like this wasn't a hard listen at all. Mm -hmm. Like, like I could let that ride. Like I could let this ride. Like there, there's a couple I skip, but for the most part, like I can jam here it, it, it pretty got, easily. It got, it got a little difficult for me because it just felt like I can see how. Yeah, okay. Me. You know, but I like that he at least offers you different things, or at least tries to, you know, because when we talk about Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid, for someone who's a punchline rapper, a lot of times they can be limited. It's just, that's how a lot of them are from time to time, for at least from who, who I've heard, like not just Houston, but just in general. It's good to see that he can tell a story and it's not, it don't have to be a punchline. Right. It's just telling the story. The way he told it was good, like as far as how he articulated it. Correct. That's what I, that's flow, what I'm I think he's the, the dopest the, storyteller we've come across. But the flow, I don't know. I think Pro who, came who? Pro. He, pro no, I, I think, like I said, I think he's Pro is the only cat in the same conversation. To me, Father's Day from Pro Payne is is the hardest fucking storytelling song ever created. I feel like he's. he's no, I, see, I, 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 ever, to I know, but I told you, he says ever. I, I'm alive. serious. I, who? What's another song better? Well, I guess, like, 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 really? I guess he's yeah. not asked about this one. I'm not I'm saying it's the number one, but it's 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 up there. <laughs> okay. it's, it's up we there. feel you. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, because I always tell people that I feel like Once Upon a Time in the Projects by Ice Cube was one of my favorite storytelling songs. 
But it's a good song. Like he paints a fucking good picture of going to go pick that girl up and what the fuck happened. Like it was like Friday. Well, not Friday. What was it? Was it like? Was it kind of like Friday? Nah, nah, nah. It's a totally different stories. But <sighs> propane Father's Day. Once upon a time in the projects. He don't even. He don't even like Ice Cube though. <laughs> So it don't even matter. I'm getting off topic there. But anyway, yeah. But I think it's a good story, I'm not gonna argue. I'm not going to put up with this man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? You it, man. But damn, I, damn good storyteller. Don't know how up there with the greats I'd put him, but, but, but he's, yeah, that's but he's dope. for another day. Yeah, but yeah. let's see. Think everybody gave the deal when we do a representation grade? Yeah. I'd be all about the representation, personally. I thought you had a weird look when I said it. I thought you were. No, because I'm because thi- I'm thinking to myself. Oh, okay. Like how how I feel. About I thought you were about to interject on me. But uh, like, hell, if you want them to be representation, I don't give a shit. As a mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Traditional industry beats, but but I'm still gonna keep it in the B category. You know what I'm saying? Because there's there's just some stuff you could have done better. You know, overall, just overall polishing and. Yeah, but stuff you know, like that. Here's another thing too. I'd love for him to be the face though, personally. Here's a, here's the thing: for this to be an older mixtape, and you still say you would give it a B, that's why it doesn't matter where we start, because this is older, and it's, he still, still thinks this it's is good. good. Yeah, no doubt. Anyway, well, I'm gonna follow that cab uh, representation. I'm with it, man. I was highly entertained by this project. Um, coming from the stance of hearing him on a bunch of features, a couple of singles here and there. This is my yeah. first full project hearing yeah. just him. And I, I fuck with it. I was highly entertained. Uh, even though his flow is kind of limited, I think he makes up for it in his storytelling ability. his fun and I guess witty as they call it, within his rhymes. Mm-hmm. Um, I fuck with it. Um, representation, that's a representation. I'm with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, great. Uh, my great, I'm gonna give it an A. I, I like it, bro. I, uh, yeah. It's this is solid A. I mean, he he like you said, he could do better, but I think the whole purpose is to show boys, hey, I can mm-hmm. spit, I can tell stories, I can have fun, yeah. and ain't nobody fucking with me. But I'm not gonna be real braggadocious about it. I'm just gonna show you that I can spit. And you know, make you prove that uh, if somebody is fucking with me, put them up on the table, and I'll yeah. show you what I can do. So hmm. I fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Representation. I wouldn't. I, I don't. I can't say I, I would have a. I couldn't say <clears throat> that I would have an actual problem with it. Um, based off of this, because he shows that he can get busy on the mic, and like you said, to hold his own if on features with anybody else or shit if anything was to happen where he had to kind of defend himself lyrically mm-hmm. yeah and as a like just it's good music coming out of Houston I wouldn't mind it representing you know it'd be okay um I wouldn't be all that excited about it but more or less right. like okay cool right on mm-hmm. great though I mean I'm gonna give it a B. You know what I mean? Like, it's just he doesn't offer all that much. It's just somebody going yeah. in. But lyrically, I think is what put him over to me because flow wise is what kept this from an A to me. But not that's the only reason. Just right. because for my particular ears, I like to see people who are diverse with their flow, but mm-hmm. their flow is their flow. So Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying, because whenever I first first started I was drawn back a little too and I was like whoa <laughs> like it was so unorthodox I kind of had to run it back and really be like all right like what was this dude about right. but it didn't make me do that though yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying so hey man I'm with it I'm like, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say I would like to hear him on a like a, a full uh, non-industry beat kind of like project like a, like it's a concept or just Something other than him just he got giving this, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like if he was the best, I'm leaving it there. I want to see what else he can do 
They're just not spitting going yeah. in. Let me see a full project. More I, concentrated sure. effort. Yeah, because yeah. pretty much this was enough to grab my attention and make me want to follow what you yeah. do. But if you're on the same stuff with kind of a concept, I don't think I'd be as happy. This was this was this was his Reggie Bush and Kool Aid yeah. of sorts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. For what same it was worth. Right. For what it was worth, I, I appreciate it. I get it for that feel was. from it. Yeah. But it's like it's just a Reggie Bush and Kool Aid, but the Dante Higgins version. I don't know which right. one came out before, but just. I'm just saying, I, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to call him Doji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, just an analogy of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, shit. Last words, anybody? Like he already did his. Yeah. Was your last words? Well, no, you didn't. No, I, I mean, that was pretty much it, man. This, he's, this man is out here. Um, he's on everybody's shit. So uh, follow Plenty him. Plenty of material. Plenty yeah. of material. Go fuck with him. See see what he about, man. Give a listen uh, to to this project and all the other projects. Uh, we're gonna make sure we cover them. But I mean, y'all need to do the same thing with us. And try to watch these people grow as artists, just as we do. Well, he's already grown. <laughs> I'm just saying, just in general, just follow the artists. Yeah, by your city, man. We're gonna keep doing it. Go look up this dude's material. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty out there. I'm glad we got to review it. I enjoyed it. And you know, don't, like you said, you know, like when you first hear him, don't let that make you dismiss it real quick because it might sound a little awkward at first. So I'm going to say, especially if you do this one, hang in there. I didn't dismiss it. No, no, I'm, I'm telling them not to. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because if we weren't reviewing it, like there might be a chance or if people aren't reviewing stuff, like, like when you were showing me a song earlier. If I had to review that, I'd sit there and listen to it. But there's certain things that can throw you off. And I know when I first heard him, mm -hmm. it was like, whoa, it was really obscure to me. But but I stuck with it, and I'm glad I did. So I'm sure there's other people out there like me. So don't don't dismiss it off a little thing you hear that might be a little a little abstract. So Bayou City, double. Uh, last words for me. I mean, this is one of his earlier projects, and kind of a hint. hint. Hig with along with like GT Garza and some others, they have a lot in their catalog. So we have a long way to get to go with them. Shit, so yeah. I'm enjoying. I definitely want to hear his other one. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for the support as always. Vice reviews. Dante Higgins. Rhymes for days. Y'all. Yeah. Smoke and purple. Dragon purple. I don't know, squares in my fucking Okay, I put it down for Houston. Nigga, I am mixed. I am so south side. What you want a bit? Your girl only call me when she get a check. Said she paid me to knock it out the park like the mitts. Headed to the club, moving like a jet. Jamming on that Kiki, who's next to Plex? Shout out to Big Pokey, he hit me on my mobile. Said he got a show when I can come to that bitch and open. First it's a long clock shake up, every day he wake up. He trying to figure out today how he gonna get his cake up. He told baby you ain't got time to put on makeup. Cause it's money to get and money he can't be late for. Because money like to move and he'll move with it. Niggas in the hood be snitching, they be like dude did it. But they wanna walk in his shoes, the new tennis But his shoes big enough for you to put your shoes in it He play hard in the game, he don't lose in it He ain't never been in a cool kitchen But if it get too hot, then he